All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you what we do when we bring a tractor out in the spring, out of the barn or out of storage, wherever it is. We're gonna show you what we do uh, maintenance-wise to go over every single thing on this tractor because you don't wanna have any downtime, you don't wanna have any breakdowns. And whatever tractor you use, Ford, uh, International, John Deere, Alice Chalmers, it don't matter what you're using, this, this service recommendation that we're gonna go through right now applies to every tractor. That oil is pretty black. This is a gas motor. So you can see that it's very important that we change this before we get going. This one was replaced last fall. So you can see this is really a clean filter. But you, you want to check it anyway. You want to check inside there and make sure you don't have any bird nests or anything going on in there, any mice or anything like that. Check the, the coolant, make sure that's good. Right up to the top. And naturally, you know, it was checked before it was put away for the winter to make sure that it was good. You can see the battery cables right here. They're dirty, they need to be cleaned. Clean the post first. A lot of times where we put our food plot in, we have to drive the tractor, you know, a half a mile to five miles from the trailer back into where we're going. <laughs> if the thing breaks down, you got to walk back to the truck to get it. Be careful when you're using wrenches around the battery, you know, touching from the positive to, to these posts or when you're checking down here on the starter, you want to make sure you hold that wrench in your hand in a way that you can, you can check it and make sure everything's tight without causing an arc because you could cause a fire and you could have a problem. Get this filter off. Okay. You don't want to spill that oil on the ground either. Make sure you put that in a five gallon container and take it to the proper disposal location. And all you want to do is get this hand tight. When you start it, if it's going to leak, it'll leak. Wipe this off so that we could detect any leaks. Don't get in a big hurry. Pour it in slow. Do it right. Everybody has their own specifications. What all? Uh, you you know you can start the tractor, making sure everything is in neutral, standing beside it. If you got the tires chalked and all that, but. It's just a lot safer to get on the tractor, so. You just wanna let it run for, you know, a few seconds so that the oil pump will fill up the filter, and then you can check it. Now, if you check your oil level before you start it and fill this filter, it's gonna be down the amount that that filter holds, which is probably a pint. We're good. The oil's good. Uh, the normal way to check the fluid level in the transmission is here. But this particular model tractor had an actual dipstick. So you can actually pull the dipstick out and verify that it is to the right level. There it is, full. So if your tractor doesn't have a dipstick like this though, it will have a plug right here to check it right there. And again, here's where you fill it and you want to use the manual to find out, you know, the maintenance part of the manual to find out what oil that you should be using in there.
on this particular tractor, here is the fill plug for the rear end. Now, you know, when they came along with this kind of a tractor, everything runs, the transmission, the rear end, normally uses the same fluid in the transmission and the rear end. And you, a good thing is, is that hydraulics is what runs this uh, three-point hitch system on this tractor too. Uh, you want to check your um, hydraulics, you want to check your three-point hitch, you want to make sure that the three-point hitch is not only going up and down before you go somewhere. Uh, like if you got an implement that you've left at your deer camp and you're thinking, well, I'm going to load the tractor, take it up there and hook up my thing. You want to put some weight on this thing first. The, the kind of weight that you're talking about lifting and make sure this three-point hitch is working right and it don't have the jitters because you can get air in this system and it'll cause this thing to jitter up and down, especially if you're going to be running a pulse hole digger, an auger, you want to make sure that that three-point hitch and, and the PTO is operating properly because you don't want to have that auger jumping all over the place and you don't want to have that rototiller have, giving you a problem. I can't, I can't elaborate enough on the importance of you having a manual for whatever tractor that you have. So, you know, you need to contact Steiner and get the right one. Because, you know, for this reason, we're talking about grease fittings. There's grease fittings all over these tractors, on the bottom, up underneath, in the front. You got them everywhere. And you need to know where all those grease cirques are, and you need to know how much grease to put in them. You want to check the power steering fluid? You can see it's right there. Good, clean power steering fluid. Got a good seal in the cap. I like it running because that keeps the, the levels where it actually is. It's, you want to make sure that all your wires are on good, your coil wires on good. There's no bare wires. Make sure the mice haven't chewed anything and you know all your wiring is good that's very important because if your wiring is bare and it touches something it can short things out and you can have a problem with that get a good uh, pressure gauge and you want to check all the pressures well that about wraps it up for checking it for spring and summer use i hope that you enjoyed this segment the way we brought it to you and maybe you were entertained but uh hopefully this will help you to know how to do this on your own and whatever you don't know or whatever you need right here Steiner tractor this catalog is categorized the colors blue is for Ford we want you to have a reliable tractor and we want you to enjoy your tractor and not be stressed <music>